<laughs> this is Loving Malawa, you did it. it for the street. <laughs> what inspired your lyrics? Um, I don't know. I, I'm at this point where um, I, anytime I put pen to paper, I just feel like bragging. You know, and I'm usually not that kind of person. I always think about love, peace. Heartbreak. Stop, or you deserve it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it at this point. No, it's just, it's just, you know, where, where the inspiration is leading yeah. me to. It doesn't really have any, you know, any back story, you know. So I just put pen to paper and I'm like, man, hell, <laughs> I'm too much, man. <laughs> <laughs> and you are really too much. You played your piece, so you have the right to do all that writing. Thank you, thank Let's talk you. about the Timeless album. You yeah. dropped the Timeless album this year as well. Yes, I did. So how's the reception been for the Timeless album and how long did it take you to create all the music on that album? Ooh, I, it took me about like three and a half years to create the music in the album. I went all out. I um, worked with Kobam Sasuko on the album. Uh, we went to, we recorded in four cities across the world, uh, primarily in South Africa. That's where we did most of the big band. It, the album is 100% live. So we did the big band for the horns in South Africa. Um, we did the strings in Nashville, you know, cause there, there's a song called Butterfly on that album. The video is probably somewhere. And the, the violins were performed by an orchestra. Uh, you know, the strings were performed by an, an orchestra. So it, it, it took a lot of work to put it, you know, into because I had, I have um, a message. I have something that it's like my baby, you know. And uh, besides, I've been performing live for close to like nine years now. So the best thing to do, what better way to tell people, no, I don't do CD one, track two. <laughs> but that's, that's an true, amazing that's notion true. though Thank that's you. a really really amazing notion and that's Thank what you. makes it timeless because you can take you. that all around the yes, world so and congrats and there are different genres of music but it just brings you know jazz um zook um you know the nigerian high life everything just feel good music love i, I promise you it's lovely music you know okay Abby? Yes, it is. No, your your voice is definitely it's nothing. It's something that we can always brag about. Thank Let's you. talk about your role as a woman. We find that now we're we're going to delve towards marginalization of women, and okay. we find that you're a woman. And congratulations on getting married. Sometimes congratulations. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's true. Yes. you're traditional. <laughs> yeah, traditional. Yeah, but technically, I've been married for up to four years. Yeah, wow. but, but the man did not want to pay. Do you know? Money. I was I was thinking 2015. I'm thinking two years. That's how lost in time I'm getting. <laughs> oh. That is four years. Yeah, wow, it is four years. How Amazing. have you been able to you know? handle your role as a wife, a mom, and a music artist. There's this sort of mindset that, unfortunately, some people have. I've met someone who told me, you know, you're too ambitious for a woman. You need to calm down. Yes, I, I almost did no. you. So I had to step away because I realized this person was not for me. So have you ever felt, you know, at any point being marginalized because you're a woman in the industry? Um, yes, but the, the thing is, it, it, it comes with the territory. You know, rather than, you know, sit back and sing Kumbaya, I do something about it. Um, in, in every industry, the woman, the woman child or the woman woman is always marginalized, you know, except she comes off as being a strong woman. When you're strong, when you're assertive, when you, you state it as it ought to be, you understand, and you're transparent and determined, you understand, all those things build up over the years to now make you a formidable, formidable woman, and nobody will, nobody will marginalize you. You understand? When I started out in the industry, I had just one song. Uh, before the song, I used to go and perform covers of songs that was I was made popular by when I was, um, you know, I'm Majority. a product of a yes. reality show. Yeah, Aha. So after some time, they now said, okay, you have finished doing karaoke. How about you giving us your own music? And I did that. And then when I would go and say, please, I want to give me some your, your stage. I want to perform, you know, on your stage. They'll be like, oh, mommy, I'm sorry. You have just one song. You know, there were kudos to the people who gave me a chance, you know, to do what I, I know how to do. And so when I go on stage, that's what I was talking about. When I go on stage, I give 110. I overdo than underdo. I, I make it like, um, it just becomes this part of me that I enjoy the music so much and I want everybody to feel the way I feel about the music. So by the time I come down, the next time you want to call me, you will you say, come, even if it's only one song you have. Mm. And that's how I started building it. So, yes, women will be marginalized, you know, over the years. Hopefully, it will end. There was a time when women were not allowed to vote in this world, you know. So, it will definitely continue till it ends, till women like us come out and put a stand and say, look, when it comes to my work, I have ethics, I have policies, I have things. When it comes to my family, you know, when we are strong, 
they will give us chance. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But oftentimes we also find that in order for you to break free or break loose from that marginalization, yeah. you yeah. need some sort of opportunity. That one song was your opportunity. Yeah. Oliver and I may have found our own opportunities too, but unfortunately, Not there anymore. are women out there that don't even have the opportunity I... to even break free. And it all starts with some sort of enlightenment and yes, then empowerment. Exactly. How do we get to those grassroots? What should we be doing? What, well, um, we, um, fortunately, unfortunately, you know, these are the sort of things that one would say, okay, I, I started this project. I will answer your question. I started this project where I wanted to start talking to young girls. Yeah. You understand? Going to schools and talking to young girls to say, come, um, what are you doing with yourself? What are your ideals? You know, enlighten them, empower them, so yeah. to speak. And some people decided to frustrate my um, intentions and frustrate the process. You know, oh, go on, you have to get this. I don't want to put anybody on the spot. So I just felt really bad about that. Now, because of the fact that I have music that I'm pursuing to put out right now, I just said, okay, you know what, let me pull back. When I'm ready for these people, mm. I will now answer them you know, through the proper channels. So that's the thing. You have to, everybody has to just keep trying in their own little way, yeah. you know, because people are watching us on TV, they would definitely, you know, a woman who does not have an opportunity or is not enlightened enough to go and seek for something to say, okay, this is where I'm going to find myself. When she's watching, she'll take it. And when she takes it, she'll tell another person. But for us to have like a platform where that one, no, be really new, I don't get that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about, you know, women supporting women. I'm thankful yeah. that, you know, the narrative is starting to change. Yes. Back in the day, there used to be this whole women are not supporting women thing. That's true. But the narrative is starting to change. But that mm -hmm. is not to deter from the fact that some people still don't go for women in power events because they just think it's a lot of people speaking about giving other people opportunities mm -hmm. rather than actually giving them opportunities yeah you have a fantastic relationship with Waje, mm -hmm. which i would say is really admirable and both of you are in the same industry she they rush me. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure she will say the same thing when yes. we ask her so both of you are in the same industry you mm -hmm. have similar style of music mm -hmm. give us a background into how your relationship with Waje started and how you've been able to handle each other and handle conflicts i'm asking of this because there are many people are here who are how you and I have a similar friendship as well mm -hmm. with Ayo, who's mm -hmm. in the same industry with me. And I hear people all the time asking, how are you able to do this? Mm -hmm. You know, there are opportunities that both of us could have had at the same time. Yeah. You know, how are you able to manage that and relationship that. with Waje? Um, well, the, the, the thing is, um, Waje and I, we were friends because we admired each other, especially ad the admiration came um, stemmed from um, our work. You know, I admired, I admired Waje as a fantastic vocalist and well, <laughs> she did the same. And then <laughs> gradually we now became close. And the, the thing is, our, our friendship is really founded in Christianity, in God, you know. So when it, came, it comes to that time where we're supposed to have like conflicts, you know, we sit down and talk it through. We pray a lot, you know, and that's what people don't know. And we party a lot. But we also pray a lot. So the, 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 the supporting your, your friend, it, let me give you an example now. Somebody um, approached me for the same job that they approached her for, and they didn't tell me, and they didn't tell her. So they made her feel like she was the only person that they called for that job, and it made me feel the same way too. So we sat down together, and we talked about it. And, you know, she was like, ah, she's doing it. I was like, eh, no, Allah, let the, may the best man win. She got the, the job. I didn't. Now, normally, uh, somebody in my position will probably, if those people come back now, somebody in my position will be like, please, next time, don't be dodgy. You understand? I didn't say anything. You know, it's on you to decide who you want to go with. And it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is she's progressing. And if she's progressing, by extension of me being her friend, I'm also progressing. I don't know if you understand that's me. hundred so, percent. Yeah, so that's the thing. So rather than feel bad or say, eh, eh, we were both pining for this job, but it took her. There are times when they take me to, you understand? And then she'll be like, I'm happy for you. When we're with each other, our own is calm. I can't wait for you to get your skyscraper in my heart, you know, because that's why I want to come and be stretching. And then, you understand that kind of thing? So if, if, she's, if, she's, if she's progressing, I'm progressing. If I'm progressing, she's progressing. And that's what all women should think about when they you know, fraternize with each other. When That's why sometimes men, you know, tend to fare better as friends than women. 
Mm. Absolutely. And that's beautiful because it also it also speaks a lot about your inner self as well and the level of comfort and inner peace that you also have oh, to be able goes. to execute that onto your friends and the people around you. And mm. that's the number one thing that everyone should be able to have. Yes, they should. They Absolutely. Should. So what can we expect from you from the rest, for Yay. the rest of the year? Rather? Um, I told you initially that I was working on two um, EPs simultaneously. So one of them has a story. You understand? And I'm so excited. I'm going to, I can't share much about it, but one of them has like a story, has like a guideline. So it's more of like my baby. And then there's me just going into the studio and the music suite. I'm not if you are looking for a back. lead actor for that video and you are not the lead actor, <laughs> and Wajah is not the lead actor, and you get another person to be the lead actor, no, there no, will be a no. problem. And then, yes, we <laughs> produced the film. Wajah and I will produce the film some time back. So now we're doing post production. We want to make sure that. You know, the film comes out, the movie comes out fantastic. Beautiful. So, yeah, that's that's what we're doing right now. And yeah. I was even going to ask you if we are going to see any joint album with you and Wajah. Have you guys uh, ever considered it? I can it? tell you that there is a joint song. Yes. And okay. it's really nice. Amazing. It's really nice. Very, very inspiring. We look forward to hearing that. Thank now, one you. thing that we like to talk about a lot on our show is we, mm. we like to create safe spaces for people and to... Preach the message that it's okay to be down, it's okay to deal with depression, it's okay mm -hmm. to feel discouraged at every point in your life. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we have people like you who are icons and celebrities yourself share with us how you've been able to deal with times when you've been discouraged and times when you've been down or depressed. So mm -hmm. how have you, maybe you should share with us your most challenging period in the past year or thereabouts and how you were able to pick yourself up. Um... I don't know about sharing <laughs> my most because I'll tell you how I deal with my down times. I find an outlet. You understand? So there's always an outlet. If you're feeling bad, Lenny Craft, um, read a book. Take your mind out of it. You have to, except so you don't reach the stage where you, you need to seek help. And always do not hesitate to reach out to people. There are therapists that I, 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 I actually started seeing a therapist at some point. There are therapists that, you know, you sit down with and they make you, the, the things that were obviously in front of you that you could not grasp before, they make you get like a clearer understanding of these things. So I always encourage people to seek help. Of course, that some of them are expensive, but when they know that, you know, it's pressing, they're always there to help, you know. So seek out people that you can talk to, that can encourage you and show you love and then get an outlet. If you're usually um, not, uh, uh, if you're usually not an extrovert, you go out and you know mix, learn swimming. If swimming, no, they learn table tennis. Learn something. Learn ayo. That one at least it doesn't cost money. Stone and digging inside the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very true. Thank and you. And last but not least, what would you say is the most beautiful thing about womanhood? Uh, for me, the most beautiful thing about womanhood. Is a bit is a bit corny, but it's motherhood. Is is and everybody can be a mother. Yeah. You know, everybody can be a mother. And even if you're not a mother by biologically, you can decide that you want to adopt. If you don't want to adopt, you have family around you that you know you can help groom. It's just being responsible for another person is such a beautiful thing. It just makes you more grounded and makes you understand that you have like a purpose in life. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank that you is so actually, much, Amal. You know, very warm. And you're not the only person, as corny as you think it sounds, you're not the only person who shares that school of thought. I mean, um, Chimamanda Adichie came out to share the same school of thought and people went on social media and they were attacking her on Trevor Noah's show. Oh. But at the end of the day, motherhood is such a beautiful feeling. I have never experienced it, but I remember when my sister had a baby, I cried. I was going to make up and I just sat down and I, I was crying she, because I, it was so beautiful. I went to meet my mom and I just hugged her and told her that, look, eh, I love you, oh, die. Because I now understand, being a mother makes you understand the relationship that you have with God. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.